Luther will have the ball 12 seconds on the shot clock. 6.43 to go, they trail by nine. Luke Wright gets the ball near midcourt. 10 on the shot clock. Austin's going to have to make something happen here against Van Groningen. Shot clock at five. NBA three-pointer. Austin has it rim out. Offensive rebound by Woolums. Puts it up and is fouled. You got to think you're okay with that foul, though. You know, take him to the line with a flustered offense. Miss a free throw and, you know, starts to weigh down on a team. Tough break for the Knights, though, to play such good defense right. and then give up a board. Yep. Willems 4-4 at the line. That's his first miss of the night. It's the first missed free throw of the game yeah. by both teams. That comes with 6.31 to play. A lot of pressure on Willems now to capitalize on this trip to the line. And he yeah. does. Hits that one. It's 53-45. A little backcourt pressure there. Wasey has it now on the wing for the Knights. Mm. Hands off to Van Groen again. Now to Weber. Cook back to Cannon. Outside, Van Groen again for three. No good, and that goes over the backboard out of bounds. It'll be Luther Ball, 6.08 to go. Both Wasey and Cannon had missed, uh, missed Cook on, the, on a quick little uh, pick and roll there to the basket. I think Cook might be a little frustrated. Crucial stretch up coming here as the Norths will want to stay within striking distance as we near the, the uh, home stretch. Six minutes to go. Luke Wright finds Cothermis, three-pointer on the way, Ain't no good. Wasey had good defense there. Yep. Weber picks up a screen, crossover, gets to the baseline, pulls up, and nails it. Oh. Excellent one-on-one -on -one move from Weber. And Warburg will take a timeout to talk things over. 55-45, the Knights lead. 5.37 to go. We'll be right back after this on Night Vision. The next 30 seconds can save you a lot of money. Just do your laundry in cold and stick to full loads. Auto-sleep your computers. Plug your gadgets in a power strip and switch it off when you're done. Head it out, turn back your thermostat by 10 degrees. And drive sensibly. The more energy you save, the more money you save. Find other great tips at energysaver.gov. Welcome back to Lubbock Arena here on Night Vision. Wartburg 55, Luther 45, 537 to play. Out of the night's timeout, it's Luther Ball. Kale, Kale off. Go ahead. <laughs> I was just going to say that you know that Kale and his teammates are definitely desperately looking for points here as Kale takes a three and misses out the front iron. Rebounded and put in by Luke Wright. Waverly native cuts the lead to eight. Wasty drives baseline. Big grown again. Good rotation. Weber for three. That's good. That started with the drive by Wasey and the extra pass from Van Groningen. Weber knocks down his first three of the night. It's an 11 point Wartburg lead. You can tell by the Norse body language that they are not quite sure how to attack this Wartburg defense at this point in the game. That shot, no good from Willems. The other way, Van Groningen drives, kicks out to Wasey. Wasey dribbles to the left side, now finds Cook. Van Groen again will look to drive past Wright. Lost his footing, but that was because of the contact from Wright. He's called for the foul. Warburg will have a new shot clock as Meyer and Martin come back in for the Norse. Schultz will go to the bench, and Luke Wright stays out there. Wasey throws it in for Cannon. Looks for the roll, number 32. Cannon faces up, and this time he has it stolen away by Meyer. Meyer knew that was coming after a bunch of isolation plays off the inbounds. He yep. fakes the three, tries to drive outside of right. Bounce pass into the paint. Martin, working on Van Groningen, draws the foul. Good defense, though. Great, you know, tough defense in the lane. No easy points. 
And at this point in the game, that's how you got to play. Yeah, that's Nothing the last easy. thing you want is to give up a three-point play yeah. in a situation like that. Yeah. 4.17 to go, and it's Martin going to the line. Free throw rims in, and it's 58-48. Luther will be in the bonus from here on out. As Martin misses his second. Rims out of there, and it's Wasey coming the other way for the Knights. Now in the hands of Weber. Look for them to just eat up some shot clock here. We're down to 4.05 left on the game clock. Cannon has it on the right side for the Knights. Now to Weber. That's exactly what they're going to do. Run that clock down with a 10-point lead. Shot clock down at 10 as they try to get the ball in the hands of Cannon, but it's going to have to be Weber to create here, and he throws it right to Meyer. So he's trying to hit Cannon, and Meyer goes the other way and finishes. Lead within eight, and Luther will take a timeout to reconverse. 3.40 to go. It's 58 to 50. A very ill-advised pass. So can Warburg pull away, or will Luther come back and make a run at it? We'll be back with more Warford basketball after this on Night Vision. Checking your fantasy loop? Nah, just my 401k statement. Mm, nice. Where'd you find the money for that? I've just been saving a little every month. <laughs> I can't seem to save anything. Well, what about all this? What about the money you're spending? <laughs> what money? It's gone before I can get my hands on it. I got a pizza for a uh, Todd. Hey, can somebody spot me? When it comes to financial stability, don't get left behind. It's 547. Get tools and tips for saving at feedthepig.org. Welcome back to Levick Arena here on Night Vision. It's Warburg 58, Luther 50. A reminder, you can follow the Knights this Saturday via KWAR as they hit the road in Dubuque against the Spartans of UD. Coverage begins at 2 and 4 p.m. A women's men's doubleheader for Iowa Conference Hoops action through your sound 89.9 KWAR. Live stream available at WarburgCircuit.org. 3.40 to play now. Luther will apply some full court pressure to try to force a turnover or at least speed up the Knights a little bit. Wasty has it in front of Warburg's bench, dribbles out to midcourt, and Grunigan with it. We'll see what Dick Pate threw up here this last time down the floor in the ninth stall. It clearly didn't work out on the turnover. They are able to get the hands or the ball in the hands of Cannon this time. Under 10 on the shot clock, and he's going to be whistled for the gray. carry. A lot of gray area on that call. Yeah, that's a move he likes, and I think that time maybe just held it in his palm a little bit too long. You wonder why they call it that time and not the other five times he's used that move <laughs> this game, but that's the call and it'll stand. 3.08 to go. Luther has a chance to cut into the lead some more. Huber has it after the pass was tipped. Out of Martin. Nice steal there by Weber. Poking the ball away and then going and finding it. That's the kind of defense that the Knights are going to continue to need to do in these last two minutes, 45 seconds of this game if they you know, want to secure this lead. Wasey nearly had it poked away by Austin. Now it's Cook with it in the post. They throw it back out to Weber. 15 on the shot clock, 235 to play. Realistically here, dribble out the play clock and just... Van Grogan missed, but offensive rebound by Cook. Cannon misfires on the three. Maybe wanted to run some more clock in that situation, but it was a good look, just not able to hit. So now it's Luther the other way. 2.10 to go. Martin now to Austin. He'll pull up from three and nails it. Just taking things into his own hands here. 58-53 with 2.01 to go. Right Long back pass the, ahead. Right back into the game with that three-pointer. The Knights need, need not to turn the ball over here. That is what you cannot have. Cannon with it. 1.45 to go. The Knights lead by five. Weber trying to get the ball back to Cannon. Has his pass hit. Meyer nearly saved it. But it said it's out of bounds to the Knights. Seven on the shot clock. 1.35 to go. Luther needs a stop and Coach Dick Paith would like to draw something up here. 
for this out of bounds play. We'll have it coming up right after this on night vision. What did I say, man? What did I say? Closer to nature can get you closer to your family. Go to discovertheforest.org. Welcome back to Levick Arena. Out of this timeout, seven on the shot clock. You'd think that Werper's going to try to get the ball to Jordan Cannon in a situation yeah. like this. Yep. The best guy at creating his own offense as he's shown. Yeah. And also, you know, great at ball control because. You know, seven seconds on the shot clock, a quick turnover turned into fast break points. It's a three-point game. You know, so um, got got to at least got to at least make sure that the Norse take over on their side of the court. Um, you know, so they're not pressing towards their basket with a minute 35 to go. On the floor for the Knights, Cannon, Weber, Wave, Steve, Van Groen again, and Cook. It'll be Wacy throwing in from the sideline. They screen for Weber. Shot clock down to five. They're looking to bring Cannon off a couple of screens. Gets it in the lane. Step back, fall away, jumper. Back of the rim, no good. Wacy Great rebound. hustles down the rebound. And that rebound right there is huge. Look for a lot of pressure by the Norse here on this possession. This Kale's awesome playing pesky defense. Now it's Weber with the ball guarded by Huber. Cannon. Back to Weber, 15 on the shot clock, 107 to go. Luther gonna play this one out. Cannon spins to the wow. basket, scores and the foul. Wow, what a move by Jordan Cannon and, and that, they have put the seal on this game. Yep, that right there, I mean, barring a couple miraculous three-pointers by the Norse, that's gonna put it away. And you, you wonder if, uh, the Knights can finish this game perfect at the line as they have not missed one yet. Yeah, we talked about it. That's been a struggle for them coming in, but they knocked him down tonight. Let's see what Jordan Cannon's got from the line here as he knocks it down. Goes in and Werberg leads 61-53, under a minute to play. Huber brings the ball up the court, looking for some points here. Quick points at that. They got it. Start shooting it from long range. Pass tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with Luther. Huber will throw it in. Martin with the ball. Back to Huber. 45 seconds left. Huber spins, spins in the lane. And puts it up Ooh. and in. That's a nice little move by Huber there. So Maybe Cannon and Huber training spin moves there for layup. 61-55. Yeah. We've got a timeout. 30 seconds. I'd like to thank all of our audience tonight on Night Vision as well as those listening in from your sound 89.9 KWAR. Tonight's broadcast as well as every home game this season will be simulcast through Warburg's radio station. Make sure to dial into your radio dial to 89.9 FM or visit WarburgCircuit.org to follow the Knights all season long. 61-55 the score, 40.5 seconds left. Obviously, Luther's going to have to foul here. It's still down two possessions, but they're going to play some full court pressure and, and probably try to force a turnover. And they got some time to try to at least get a turnover and get the ball back. I mean, realistically, a six-point game with a turnover, you still got a game. You, the Knights just have to play very heady offense. Weber looking to throw it in. He hits Ellis. Four guards on the floor now for the Knights. Ball was almost stripped, mm. but the I think it must have hit the support yeah. there, and it was out of bounds. No, they are going to whistle a foul here really? on Kale Austin. So that'll send Mark Ellis to the line. 38.6 seconds left. It's a one-in-one -one situation here for Ellis. Mark Ellis has been a, a dagger from the three-point line. But misses his free throw. But Van Groningen tips it out to Wasey. Excellent foul. play on the offensive glass from Van Groningen. We've seen that from him and Cook all night long. And now Wasey will get a chance at the line. He'll have a one-and-one -one opportunity. So a couple of rookies 
at the line in clutch situations here. Pitts will check in for Ellis. So the Knights will not go perfect on the night from the line. I think it was you that jinxed it as they yeah. missed two in a row now. Right. But and the pass wow. goes right to Cannon. Wright had to try to save it, and not Cannon's able to finish for the layup. Obviously not what Christian Wright was looking for. And then a bad foul on Weber, 90 feet from the basket, and he'll put Luther at the free throw line. A chance to score with the time stopped. Obviously you want to play a little bit of full court pressure and not allow Luther to be really comfortable, but you can't be that aggressive. Yeah, that's just that's just a, a young mistake. That's a, you gotta let that one go. So Huber will have a chance at one and one now. 31.6 seconds left. 63-55, Warburg leads. As Huber makes his first. Front end good, he'll get another. 63-56 now the score. Second one also good, it's 63-57. Timeout here called by Warburg to try to set up a defense. 31.6 seconds left. We'll be right back with the conclusion of this one after this on Night Vision. The next 30 seconds can save you a lot of money. Just do your laundry in cold and stick to full loads. Auto sleep your computers. Plug your gadgets in a power strip and switch it off when you're done. Head it out, turn back your thermostat by 10 degrees. And drive sensibly. The more energy you save, the more money you save. Find other great tips at energysaver.gov. Welcome back to Warburg College, Lebec Arena here on Night Vision. 61 to 55, the score, or 63 57, excuse me. 31.6 seconds to go. And Warburg looks to have this one wrapped up, but you know, crazier things have happened. Coach Dick Paith wants to call it timeout, make sure his guys are all on the same page here in the last half minute. But it looks like the Knights will bounce back from a little two game losing skin in Vegas and pick up an Iowa Conference opening victory. So long as they can knock down a couple free throws, play solid defense. Long Cannon with the oh, outlet yeah. pass. Great move by him, and he goes in for the slam. Jordan Cannon puts an exclamation point on this one with a dunk, and then he tips the ball out of bounds. You're right. That was that was just the cherry on top of the Sunday there to, to finish him off, and you can tell the body language of the Norse. I, I think this one's over. 27 seconds left. It's Austin into the front court. Little trap defense by the Knights. Martin will pull up for three in the corner. Air ball, uh, Ellis gets the rebound and is hugged by Huber. So Ellis will go to the line to try to redeem himself here. Obviously not as huge of a situation. Still a one and one for him. 65-57 though now the Knights lead with 16 seconds left. And how big is that, you know, being able to bounce out of a two game skid, you know, on the road in, in Las Vegas and being able to come here in front of your home crowd and get a opening conference win. Huge for this team and it's confidence. Mark Ellis makes his first free throw. Especially as they go into a, a game Saturday at a 10-1 yeah. Dubuque team that's looking like the favorite in the conference right now. Ellis with a chance to extend this to double digits and he does. Knocks down two three free throws at 67-57 and Logan Pitts is back in. Austin in the backcourt, Martin in trouble. Austin will pull up from way deep. Air ball. air ball. Huber gets it. Meyer for three at the buzzer, no good. And actually, well, there's half a second left. But this one is all but over. The final score, Warburg 67, Luther 57, an Iowa Conference opening victory for the Knights who improved to eight and four overall in the season. They're now one and oh in the Iowa Conference. Luther falls to four and eight. They are 0 and one in the conference. We'll be back right after this quick break here on Night Vision to wrap everything up from Levick Arena. Once again, the final score, the Night Men win it 67-57 over the rival Norse on Night Vision.